sniper zambos. Vampire nests. This, this game's, game's gonna, gonna get, get real intense. Boo armor. Boo armor. Hey kittens, welcome back to Boo Armor. Welcome back to Boo Armor. Um, so yes, no, yes. Okay. So we stole a kiss. Well, no, we, we are stealing a kiss. Um, I couldn't let him leave without doing something. I quickly pulled Sam down to me, lifted my head and gently kissed him, softly laying a hand on his cheek to keep his face close. Sam stared in deep surprise before hesitantly kissing me back, caressing my cheek and slightly melting at the touch of our lips. A soft sigh escaped his lips before he slowly pulled away with a smile. He gently licked his lips, making me go red in the face with that simple gesture. He let out a satisfied smile before running a head through my hair. Sleep, doofus. He called us doofus. Yeah, that's so precious. It's like the most romantic thing that's happened to me. I this. know. <laughs> it's like you get like little kisses, and he's just like, "Sleep, doofus." Yeah, that's so cute. <laughs> and with that, he stood up and left me alone because he's an asshole, and he left me alone. I relaxed into my mattress, but then I heard Diana laugh. Do it, do it. Haha, uh -huh, told you. Eh. I suddenly tensed up. I felt major unease. Majorly uneasy. Something wasn't right. I felt it in my core. She must be here. The thought of her in my house infuriated me. Anyways, we're gonna skip past looking for her because we 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 know. We're just gonna go dig into the house and then we're gonna find a door. Um and she's Oh. Oh. Sam. What the, the fuck do you want? My heart stopped. Diana was with Sam. My mind flew into slow motion, playing fake images of Diana trying to seduce Sam in my head to further the angry flame inside me. Yep, this is all the same. I instinctively followed Sam's voice. Grand lobby. Hid behind oh no, this is a different place though. Yeah. I hid be myself behind the corner of the hall, peeking into the space down at the scene. I peeked inside to see Sam by the foot of the stairs with Diana sitting on the railing looking at him. My, my, such a brute. Didn't your mother teach it, you how to treat a woman? She isn't here, and frankly, you shouldn't be either. Ah, I'm hurt. Wounded, truly. <laughs> like I care, you crazy bitch. Pity. And here, I thought you, I was going to offer you the chance to become something better than just a simple incubus. What was Diana going on about? More than just an incubus. Was she insane? Like, you got anything I care about. How about becoming the next demon lord? I froze. What did she mean? Become the next demon lord? The boys weren't in the demon world anymore. They had no claim to the throne anymore. Sam stared at Diana, which made me worry. Yeah, because looking at a woman. Yeah, you know. You're bluffing. Well, currently I am the contracted bride to the heir of the, to the throne. Since the throne is open, it's available to any son of the Demon Lord's line. Da, da, da. Ellipses. Think about it. You'll gain the throne, the land, and a bride to continue your lineage with. Doesn't that sound like a perfect life for an incubus like you? I could feel myself gripping my fists tightly in anger. How dare this girl try to convince Sam to return to the Demon World? He ran away from it. He didn't have to go back. He shouldn't go back. My mind began to wonder, imagining him saying yes. He, w he would leave his brothers, and his brothers would follow to bring him back. They'd be trapped because Diana would make sure they could never leave. Sam would be the new demon lord, and Diana would as his queen, and I'd lose him forever. You must be crazier than I thought. What? I felt surprise run down my body again. Did I hear Sam correctly? He denied her? <laughs> You dead and I? Oh, all of a sudden, Sam's body disappeared as well as Diana's. I blinked and saw Sam grip Diana by the neck, pinning her body to the wall near the dining room archway. Her feet couldn't even touch the floor, and I felt myself unconsciously rub the back, rub my neck at the sight. For once in your life, shut your fucking mouth. I could see Sam's muscles tense and flex, holding Diana, wanting to tense even harder to snap her neck. You do not scare me. I can bring you to your knees and make you beg to return with me on a chain leash. Then do it! I want to see you try to chain me. 
Sam glared as Diana stared almost in fear of him. I expected her to actually do it. However, after a small breath of moment, Sam smirked. Heh. <laughs> Called it. Sam released Diana, letting her body fall to the floor. Diana gripped her neck, coughing for air. Sam stepped back, glaring at her. You're out of power. You've been running without recharging, and now you're on your last life. Shut up! Diana glared and stood up, flipping her hair back to its almost naturally sexy style. What's stopping me from taking your little human's energy? You go anywhere near Bowie again, and I will rip you apart. Puh, the human girl? You must be joking. A human like her can't possibly provide what you need. She's a human. You're a demon. I felt the urge to storm in and shut her mouth. It would give me it would give away my position, but I was going extremely tired of Dana's bullshit. Barge in. I decided to be assertive and quickly stepped into the room, rushing down the steps to be in front of Sam. Diana and Sam looked at me in surprise and I glared da daggers at Diana. Get out. Well, well, little human. You're awfully nosy in business that doesn't concern you. It does concern me. Does it? I don't think a human would understand the importance of this affair. You're asking him to leave? Uh, to be someone he doesn't want to be? That's not going to happen. Oh? And what makes you so sure about that? I love him. I love him. <laughs> Look at his face. Diana stared in shock at my exclamation. He doesn't was look not, happy. Right? Was it not what she expected? <clears throat> I didn't care what she expected. I was going to lose the man I'd grown to love. You love him. Yes, I love him. Diana's lip twitched, the edges curling into a, an, an amused smirk as she stared at me. So what? A human's love isn't enough to understand the situation. A demon can never reciprocate human feeling. To both our surprises, however, Sam stepped forward and put an arm around me, pulling me close to his body. I love her. I saw the confidence Diana had shattered in her eyes as she stared at Sam at his words. Yep, yeah, that's what it says. Yeah. I could see the struggle in her face to try to find some weakness in Sam, in me, in anything. I tripped over that sentence, too. It's so bad. A demon love a human. Impossible. Are you deaf? I said I love her. You don't have the brains to understand what love is. It's not just a human emotion. Demons like us can feel it too. You just have your head so far up your ass that you refuse to see it. Just like how you refuse to see that you've lost. Dana took a step back, physically feeling the sting of Sam's words in her chest. She had lost. I could see it in her eyes. Diana's eyes grew dull as she glared at me and Sam. It seemed almost uncharacteristic of her, yet it was something I wasn't I wasn't surprised to see fuck. I wasn't surprised to see come from her face. This is so poorly written. Yeah. Fuck. Very well. Fine. Veil. Vale. I still don't and know. And with that, that means. Diana faded into the ground into a purple pentagram, crossing her arms and almost looking upset. Sam and I were left alone. Left with the <gasps> silence of the room. Is it sexy time? It's almost sexy time. I finally let out the air. I was unconsciously holding in my chest, relaxing from the ordeal. Sam stepped to me and held me gently, surprising. You all right? I nodded in response, unable to speak, so immediately after being, being surprised, surprised, Sam let out a sigh. Uh, relaxing in the embrace, I gently placed my hands around him, returning the embrace slightly. I could hear Sam's heartbeat. He held me close to his arms and I felt safe beyond words. Thank you for defending me. There's no way I'd let her hurt the one I love. I looked up at Sam. <laughs> <laughs> the fucking music. Surprised at what he said, <clears throat> Sam blushed, moving a strand of my hair from my face and looked down at me. I'm an asshole, yeah. Do I deserve to like you? No. I don't deserve to be holding you now, but... You, I just, I love you, okay? I love you. I stared wide-eyed, blushing like a maniac. Was this real? No way. This couldn't be real. Was Sam confessing to me? Confessing his love for me? Sam gently caressed my cheek, 
staring into my eyes with a loving, almost hopeful expression. The warmth of his hand invited me to nuzzle into it, and I closed my eyes. This wasn't a dream. My heart was pounding to the point where I was sure Sam could hear it, too. I have a question now. <laughs> yes. In a situ situation where you haven't kissed and you're non-sexual, have you ever nuzzled into a hand? I don't know. It just seems like, I guess, it just seems. I think when, like, if you're, if you're in, if you're in a situation like that, like if someone puts their hand, like my first instinct sometimes is to like, mm, I think I just like, but like yeah. the idea of like nuzzling into it, <laughs> like, that's what I was picturing, like, like moving your head back the and only, forth. Yeah, and, like, the only time I'm moving my head back and forth <laughs> is if my face is between some thighs is all I'm saying. Yeah. Like I nuzzle into some things, mm. but never with a dude. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> I just needed some clarification. Sam gently leaned in, closing his eyes. He stopped, however, remaining just a mere torturous inch away from my lips. <laughs> he wanted me to show my feelings for him. He had left himself open for me to kiss him or leave him empty. The power I had was unbelievable. Kiss him. I loved him, and I wanted to give him exactly what he wanted. I gently leaned in, letting my lips finally touch his gingerly. Sam let out an almost surprised gasp as I a gasp against my lips before wrapping both of his arms around my waist, pulling me close to him. I moved my arms up and around his neck, feeling the kiss between us deepen to a heated height. My chest was pounding, making me feel and see fireworks in my mind. That sounds dangerous. Sam was everything I desired. <laughs> He was the man I wanted, demon or nah. Isn't that the sign of a stroke? <laughs> God damn it. Yes, it is. We're having a stroke. That dick was so good we're having a stroke. We haven't even got it yet, and here we go. It was also supernatural, if you will, you know, magic, demons, and goodbye, whatever. To fall in love with someone so quickly, it's been like three days. Maybe it was the sense magic I was, what? Maybe it was the sense magic I was thrown into. Last time you read it as sense of magic. <clears throat> Maybe it was Cupid playing with my heart. Either way, I found myself melting at the thought of him being with me. <laughs> I found myself combing my fingers through Sam's hair, making the man holding me softly tremble at my touch. He gently nibbled my lower lip, asking me to deepen the kiss between us even further. I easily teased him before finally opening my mouth slightly for him. <clears throat> his tongue gently danced with mine as one of his hands slid up my back and cradled my head. He gently leaned my body back. What? <laughs> making me cling to him as the heat of our kiss rose higher and higher. Gently, though, Sam slowed the kiss down and pulled away. Staring down at me, his eyes burned for me. Wanting me to melt and buckle against his hips. I mean, into his arms. I could feel myself melt already. Just ruining another pair of panties. Sam opened his mouth to speak, but a very small blush ran across his cheeks. He was reduced to shy silence. I stared as he tried to find the words to say in my eyes. <laughs> I knew exactly what he wanted. He didn't need energy, though, right? He just, he just wants to get his dick wet, right? Are you... Do you have a boner right now? <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> I just... I stared, wide-eyed, looking down at that Loch Ness monster, pushing itself against my thighs. I felt a cheek go across my... <laughs> I felt a cheek. I felt a blush on my cheeks. He didn't say anything more as it bobbed and nodded at me. I know... <laughs> But I knew what words would have followed if he continued. He wanted me. Sexually. <laughs> I was stunned. Was that, <laughs> that appealing to him? I'm just a little girl. Was his hidden passion really that deep for me? Save that for Matthew. Oh, no. He's just a little boy. <laughs> I was... Okay, I did this. Sam gently nuzzled <laughs> my forehead. It's like having a pet horse, not a swamp kitten. <laughs> <laughs> Losing the blush and finally being able to speak. If you don't want to, we don't have to. 
How I mean, is this sex even being initiated? Up to you. No, wait. <laughs> wait. Wait. How is the sex being initiated here? This is what my problem is. Earlier, we were literally on top of him, clothes unbuttoned, face in the tits, like hardcore mm. making out, and that's not sexual initiation. But this this wee kiss where I mm. slightly parted my lips well, for you. To be fair, it could any... have been sexual initiation, but we passed the fuck out. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I could feel my mind go numb. No, I'm still unsatisfied with that. I felt my mind go numb and purr again at the idea. He is a swamp kitten, that's fair, I guess. Uh -huh. A moment with an incubus. He was a demon of sex. The purest form of lust and desire. And a virgin. My world would rock, and I would enjoy every second of it. At the same time, I was indeed <laughs> inexperienced. <laughs> Can you just, like, picture this? Like, they're they're kind of, like, this is what she's... they're kind of making out, and she, like, she, like stops she just... to think about these things. Yeah, to have this, like... Gollum Smeagol right. conversation, <laughs> just like back and forth. And he's I just like, Are indeed, you okay? Right. At the same time, I was indeed inexperienced. Diana wasn't wrong when she claimed me to be innocent. Did I want to give that innocence to him, especially after three fucking days? I find myself forgetting the words yes or no. What could I say to him? I knew what I wanted, but I had to say it without breaking the moment. Hey kittens, this is Finger Wiener. We just wanted to go ahead and announce our side project, which is called Side Boob, in which we will be doing some funny uh, fan fictions based off of the Seduce Me game and a bunch of other things, challenges, uh, general goofing off stuff. So check out Side Boob, and we'll see you next time on Boob Armor. Later kittens.